Oh, hello. So we're trying something different. I hope this will work out. I am playing the Bard's Tale here a little bit and just trying to see if this, this recording will work out well. Um, what is this? This will cause a dungeon? I think we want that. Let's see if that... Yeah, we want the eyeball. I knew we were missing a spell there. Alright, so anyway, so I'm trying to get us situated where we can go back out into the dungeon. We were up on the third floor, and I was exploring, and I had gotten into a realm of really bad darkness, and I could not find my way around. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. So this is where, where do I need to go? We had gotten trapped into a realm of darkness, but I think... I'm trying to see if there's some place I haven't been here on this floor. For the most part, it looks like I've been everywhere, but it looks like there's a door here I should venture into. But you'll notice I haven't been in this square, so I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna go here with the Apport Arcane, which is like a teleport. Okay, so we're here. Let me look at the journal, the map again. Okay, so we're here. Oh, we encountered a trap here. Rats. We encountered a trap there. Oh, this is not a good place to be. There's darkness through a lot of this. Okay, so that wraps. So we've been through all of that. See, I couldn't tell. It looks like there's a wall here, so I don't... Can we go there? I don't know of a way to get there. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's a door to the other side. Okay. I think what we should do is we should head... I know. We should head this way to right there. I can walk there, I think. Yeah, we can walk there. I th well, what do we have to go through to get there? It might be easier just to teleport again. I'm going to teleport us because I think that's simpler, even though it uses more of his magic. Alright, or her magic. I think that might be a her. Nonetheless, look at all those traps down there we found. There's always traps. Anyway, so this is kind of a test. I just wanted to see. Really? Oh, wait. There is a door here. I just wanted to see if we... Oh, well, we've been there. Oh, but there's another door. Okay, let's try that door. Oh, well, okay, we got guys to fight. We're going to fight bravely. Let's see. What do we got? Fire giants, stone giants, sorcerers, and seven blue dragons. Wow, I don't even know if we have anybody who can cast 60 feet. Seven blue dragons. Well, I think we're just going to have to take care of the <clears throat> immediate threat first. So let's take care of the fire giants first. So we're going to take them out with these frontline peoples. We're going to let them attack the fire giants. Now on our bard, she is going to use her fire mandolin. Now, I need to decide who I'm going to put her on. Can those guys take care of the three fire giants and let her take care of the stone giants? That would free up our casters. I'm going to try that. Now, we have six sorcerers. Do they even have a spell? Okay, they do have this spell, which will hurt the sorcerers. Now, Omar, I'm going to hit the sorcerers with Dragon Breath too to make sure they're dead. And then we don't have anything to reach out. I mean, we could do some damage out here, but after 40 feet it does half damage. It's not really going to do much to those dragons. So I'm going to hit Dragon Breath 
on the sorcerers. Make sure we get rid of the casters. Let's hope this goes well. We'll see how this does. I don't have my volume very high, but the recorded volume should be good, we hope. So now we have seven blue dragons and they advance, so now we can do something about them. No, we're going to fight bravely. We're going to let them come to us. So we're going to do a ranged attack, a ranged attack, a ranged attack. Now this one, Frito, Frito is our rogue, and Frito cannot do much. Hmm, I guess we could do a 30 foot ranged attack if they get that close. I don't know that they will. Maybe we'll hide in the shadows. 30 foot, 40 foot, hmm, they can't do anything. The equipped item will only go 20 feet. So I tell you, we're just going to defend on our bard. Now we're going to cast on our casters. Oh, they can't reach 40 feet. Oh, man. How are we doing health-wise? Health-wise... You know what? Maybe health-wise, maybe we'll cast a health spell from this person. We'll just do... Flesh a new... Okay, it'll affect every member of the party. That's worth it. Even if some of them aren't hurt yet, they could be hurt. Because these dragons tend to breathe a lot of fire. Alright, so Omar. Omar has got to reach out and touch these people. These dragons. With the ice storm. That'll get up to 50 feet, so that should work. Okay. Oh, so now we have one blue dragon left. 20 feet. How are our people doing? Now, Frito is hidden. I'm not sure if that's going to be an advantage or not, but it might be. Health-wise, we appear okay, so that's good. We're going to fight bravely. Sid, 20 feet. You can, you can do a ranged attack. This is probably going to end up killing... Frito. Oh, Frito could get a sneak attack up to 20 feet. Really? Let's try that. Um, we're going to use the equipped item. I want this dragon dead. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Do we have anything? We have poison strike. War strike does 5 to 20. Does poison strike do a lot more? It doesn't say, it just says poison. That's why I don't use it. I'm going to use War Strike. It does a decent damage. We probably just need a little damage. Probably don't need a lot. We're going to just going to use Star Flare. That's probably going to... Yeah. Okay, the first arrow killed it, so it's over. Okay, so let's use Zap. Trap Zap. Ta-da! Found some adamant stuff. That's cool. Now you notice the music came back. And that is the bard song. I can't really do too much about that. They don't allow me to control the sound on that. Let's see. We should do a save because we just had a big... That was a pretty big fight. I want to be careful. Um... That's how I've kept these people alive for so long, is by being careful. Okay. Oh, here we got some more. Let's see, not as big a group though. Seven conjurers are right in front of us. One goblin lord, one copper dragon, and two bladesmen. Okay, I'm going to have them take out the Conjurers, I think. Just like the frontline people take out the Conjurers. Okay. 
Let's see, is this Frito? Yeah, Frito. Can shoot a conjurer. And then here, I, I use these fire mandolins a lot because they're available. Then we'll cast a spell. Now, who are we going to cast a spell? The Goblin Lord? I really feel like the dragon is the most scary one, so we're going to take out the dragon first. Copper dragon. I think dragon breath on the dragon. We could do star flare. 6 to 24, 11. Oh, this does more damage. Let's take the copper dragon out. Oh, see, the Copper Dragon got to breathe on us. That's bad. Anyway, the whole part of this point of this experiment, while I'm fooling around with this, is... Oh, what do we got left? Oh, good, we got rid of the worst guys. The whole point of the experiment is I got... I'd been using this 12-year-old computer for, you know, the longest time to do a lot of my video editing and different things, and that really slowed me down a lot. So now, I got a newer computer. I did not get a top-of-the-line expensive computer, okay? But I did buy a decent computer that is much better than what I had. So the idea was, I just thought I would try doing a little simple recording on this computer on some of the simple Xbox Game Pass games, such as the Bard's Tale, which is on PC, Xbox Game Pass, you know. So just show some of the ones that I can run on this computer. I can't run the really high-end games because I didn't buy like a really high-end computer. But I don't really need to anyway because those games I'm really going to play on the Xbox anyway. This is just for fun and experiment. And I may do some some PC games, more of, uh, more of the tactical strategy games. Um, Kind of like this one, but kind of like some others, like if there was a, uh, an XCOM type of game or something like that. You know, kind of a, uh, just a little tactical strategy game that I like to play. Then I might do, you know, some little shows and previews of those here on, on the PC from time to time. Not a lot, but, you know, and I would mark those as being, you know, PC, but... Uh, you know, it's just something to think about and be aware of, and I thought I would try this experiment for fun. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. So that's what I'm doing. So when I'm done playing here for a few minutes, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to check this recording out, see how it sounds, see if I can use it, etc., etc. All right, so bear with me. Let's see. Um, there's only one Goblin Lord. So I'm just going to have my upfront guys attack the Goblin Lord and let them kill him. Everybody just take him out. Let's see, Frito, yes, you take him too. Now we're going to do the Fire Mandolin on the Bladesman. We're going to cast a spell. They're at 30 feet, so we'll do Shock Sphere on the Bladesman. And then we'll cast a spell. And I'm just going to do Star Flare on the Bladesman if they actually live that long. They probably won't. No, they didn't. Morgane ended up killing the Bladesman, and the looks like the Goblin Lord was killed by the first guy, so we're gonna zap our trap, we'll make sure we don't get shocked or killed. Oh good, we got some arrows, those are good. Alright, so that was that was useful. I'm gonna do another save. Because I save a lot. <laughs> you probably know that already, but if you haven't seen me do it on the, you know, I do it on the Xbox, but I do it uh, on the PC too. I save a lot, let's see, so. All right, so we got two ways to go, right or left. So I'm gonna go right. Let me check the journal. Mm, there's only one way to go, and that is right. Okay. Oh, and we got some ogres and dwarf kings. Hmm, interesting. All right, so we're gonna fight bravely. I'm gonna have El Cid take out some May guys. Ron and Brunhilde can do the same. Frido can do the same. I'm gonna have my bard 
fry any of them that they can. And then I'll have my casters take the Dwarf Kings. We're going to do, I think, a simple War Strike on the Dwarf Kings. And then I think a simple Star Flare will do it. I don't think we need to bring out the big guns on these guys. So let's see what we get. Oh my goodness. The Dwarf Kings are burned. The Ogre Magis are gone. All oh, the Dwarf Kings are sturdier than I realized. Look at that. They are still alive. My mistake. I should have zapped them with something stronger. Well, we're just going to have to take them out. Everybody all together. Everybody get together. We're going after the Dwarf Kings. I'm just going to repeat the same small spells. I think this will do it. This should kill them. I'm su be very surprised if they have that much life. They don't. They don't. There you go. They're all gone. Let's zap our trap. Crazy cloud. I don't remember what that is, but I don't want it. We found some more arrows. Okay. That was a good, good little fight. I like to save after my fights, just to be safe. I know. Say what you will. I like to be safe. Alright, so let's see where we are. I think we only have one choice, and that is to go forward. So forward it is. And at that point, we've covered all this. So I'm going to come back over here and go down that way. Notice when it's pale, we've already defeated the monsters. Here, they've respawned. Even though I've encountered them before, they have respawned. So I would have to fight them again if I go there. So I don't want to go there, but I'm going to go back over here and head down this way and see if we can get in this area. So, so let's turn around. And go back this way. Oh! Hey, I didn't think I was supposed to get anybody else here. Well, maybe these are wandering monsters. You can get that. Alright, anyway, let's fight. Fight bravely! Alright, ninjas, ninjas. Ninjas I'm not so worried about. I'm gonna let my guys take care of the ninjas. The frontline people, y'all got the ninjas. The bard will burn them down if they survive. Now we're going to we're going to cut loose on the dragon. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully that'll take care of the dragon. We don't want to get burned too much by the dragon. Good, we got rid of it. How's our people's health? I forgot to even look at their health. No, they're doing good. Okay, another trap. Let's just avoid the traps all we can. Oh, we got more arrows. That's good. Let me check and see where we're at. Okay, so all we need to do is turn left and head down the hall. Okay. Now, let's see. I am where I'm going to be. Yeah, let's continue down. Oh! Oh, 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 this is a rough fight. Look at that. One blue dragon, eight hydras, and one copper dragon. The hydras are my main concern. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. So, let's get through this fight, and then I think I'm going to call it and end my test. So, let's do a ranged attack on the blue dragon. A ranged attack on the Copper Dragon. A ranged attack again on the Copper Dragon. A ranged attack on the Blue Dragon. Now the Hydras are concerning. So we're going to do the Fire Mandolin on the Hydras. Then we're going to cast a spell. I don't remember how strong the Hydras are, but I don't want them to kill me too bad. Um, let's do... Let's 
Shonk Sphere on the Hydras. And then I'm going to do Dragon Breath on the Hydras. And that should take them out. And the blue and the copper dragon, eh, one or one or both of them might survive. We'll have to wait and see. See the copper dragon breathed. Good. The dragons are down. The hydras are going down. Oh, that's great. Okay. Ta-da! That's what we want. We want them dead. We're not getting anything great and new as far as uh, loot goes. Alright, so I am going to save and go. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. So this is another test. We're just trying again to see what we can get into here. Check the journal. We're doing okay. Again, just testing to see how this is going to sound. Hopefully it will sound okay. Let's see. So we got some bladesmen, lurkers, ghoul, and ninjas. All right. So we're going to do... I'm going to have the main guys attack the lurkers first. So I'm going to have them attack the lurkers. Rito can attack the lurkers. Now the bard, I'm going to have the bard fry the bladesman. Then we're going to cast a spell. Now we want to kill that ghoul if we can. These aren't strong enough. We're going to have to come out here and do this on the ghoul and hope that gets him. And then we want the ninjas dead. So I'm going to do... Is that going to be enough? Probably should just dragon breath them. Okay, dragon breath. Wait, that's only 30 feet, ain't it? Let's go back. Yeah, you can't do that. If I storm them, they'll definitely be dead. But that's a lot. Let's go ahead and just do this. Save a little magic. Probably getting time to go back and recharge anyway. Hoping we'll get rid of everybody pretty fast. Okay, that worked out. That was good. Zap the trap. The party finds a dork ring. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. So, let's do a save here. I did try turning my volume down. I, I think I may have overdone it, to be fair. Um... But this is just a test, so it's okay. Let me go back here. I'm going to turn this up so we get the sound effects. I, I don't think there's anything to do about um, the bard music I can't affect. So there's nothing I can do about that. Let's see where we are. Okay, we're still heading down this hallway. So let's go down. Oh, we got some more bad dudes. Let's see, we got fire giants, jackal wares, and copper dragons. Wow. Okay, so let's take care of the fire giants first. We're going to burn down these fire giants. Fire giants, I mean. Um, we're going to do the jackal wares. We're going to try to do what we can to the jackal wares. And then... We're going to ice storm the dragons because they are the most dangerous. Now that gives us our little sound effects back a little better. So at least you can hear a little bit. This game doesn't have a lot of sound, but it has a little bit. Now hopefully this test is working and the sound is good. We're going to find out in a minute. After this fight, I'm going to sign off and we'll check it out. So hopefully it works well. But I don't know, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm always trying different things, you know how it is. Oh, so we still have a couple of people left, but the dragons are gone. How are our people? Our people are fairly healthy. Some damage has been done. Okay. Okay, so let's take out the fire, fire giants and the jackal wares. 
Hmm, who's worse? Fire giants? I'm going to say fire giants are worse. But we're going to say jackal wares are still bad. And then I'm going to cast a spell, but this is going to be a heal to everyone. Okay, there we go. That should have done well for us. Will zap trap the zap or zap the trap? Okay. Do a quick save here. And I'm going to get us out of here. So anyway, so this was just a quick, a very quick little test. All right. So I'm going to bring up the journal. I'm going to take us down to, here we go, I'm going to take us over here to the little room to refill ourselves, there we go. Alright, I'm going to sign off here, so thanks for watching, I will catch you later. Oh, hello, hello, so we are trying another test, pardon, pardon the noise, but we are trying another test, see how this works, see if this does us better, maybe this will be the solution, I don't know. But, I do know that we need to leave here. So, we're going to go... Are we down on the first floor? Yeah, we are. Okay. So, we're going to leave. Where am I at? There we are. We're going to leave. We're going to go over this way. Oh, I just can't believe I did that. Okay, we're going to go here. We're going to move to there. There we go. Wrong way. Here we go. Yes, we will leave. Okay, we'll head out to town. We're going to go back around. Where's our little mini-map? There we go. I'm used to having that. We're going to head back and get some training for our guys and just see how this goes. Oops. Well, okay, we're going to fight bravely. <laughs> no, not much choice. We're going to use the equipped item. We will cast a spell. Um, I think War Strike will be fine. We'll cast a spell. Starfire would be fine. Yep. There we go. Now we got a little more. I think we got a little more game sound. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully that works appropriately. Okay, so since I messed up. Okay, there we go. We have to go over this way to get our training for our guys who have leveled. Ta da! We want to see advancement for. Brian the Fist, yay. And for Frito, Frito Bandito. Hmm, good, got some good skills there. That looks, that looks hopeful. So we're done with that. Let's exit back out. Now we can head back to our little dungeon without any trouble. As I said, this is just a test, just to get us some sound check and different things. See how this works. Hopefully this will be good. I'm just going to get us back to our little magic room. And then I'm going to... Get us out. Oh, I went too far, didn't I? Well, it's all right. Yes, let's get us in. Yes, we're going to go in. Woo. We are brave and crazy and whatever. Right. All right, so let's move. We're going to move over to this magical room and recharge so that we're totally charged. If you want your magic users, if you look down the lower right corner, you want their magic to be totally charged. All right, so now... 
we can go back to the third floor and continue our exploration. Now we're going to get some bad guys when we go in here. Hmm, there's really no way out of it. So we're just going to have to go and deal with it. Yep, here we go. I probably should have saved before this point. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright. So let's do this fight and then we will do whatever else we need to do. So the, the casters, the magicians, jackal wares. I'm going to leave the ghouls for the bard. We're going to take the wizards out with these guys. They're going to take the wizards out for me. Come on, Frito, help kill them wizards. Okay, we're going to take out the ghouls with the bard. Then we're going to cast a spell. The jackal wares are 20 feet away. Let's do some damage on them. And then we have two magicians 60 feet away. Oh, there's nothing I can do with them. Hold on a second. I'm changing Morgane's fight. So Morgane, they're 60 feet away. I can't do anything to them. So we're just going to war strike the jackal wares, and then we're just going to star flare them. And that should take care of them, and we'll just get the magicians next round when the, they approach. Okay, here we go. All right, so you get to hear the sound. Hopefully, the sound is a little louder, so hopefully you'll hear that. Well, we're hurting the jackal wares. There we go, killing the jackal wares. Oh, one of them survived. Tough guy. All right, well, we'll have... Everybody will hit the jackal wear except for Omar. He'll hit the magicians. So we'll just do jackal wear, jackal wear, jackal wear, jackal wear. One of y'all will certainly kill this jackal wear. I'll just do a ranged attack on the jackal wear. No point using the, the fire spell. Okay, cast a spell on the jackal wear. Do you have any long distance? That just pushes them away. No, you don't. So I think Morgane is just going to def Well... Tell you what, they'll cast a single spell on the Jackal Wear. And then Omar for the Magicians. We didn't get to hit them at all, but they usually don't have a lot of po health points. I'm just going to I'm just going to give him the usual attack. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And we're going to let that go right there. So uh, if you see this, thanks for watching. And I will catch you later. Night hard, don't look back. Hello, hello, hello. So we are trying again. Testing our sound, doing all that. You know, same as we've been doing. We're just doing another another run, I guess. Another quick test. Where am I at? I'm on level 3. I'm facing the wrong way. That's the problem. We want to head south. Okay, so here we go. Nothing in here. Oh, there's two ways to go. I'm going to keep heading straight. Oh, dead end. Okay, we didn't go this way, so we're going to go. Hmm, I don't think I turned myself. I felt like the game turned me. Okay, so hopefully, we'll see how the sound does. Hopefully it's better. I, I'm trying to get that right balance. It's different here on the PC than on the Xbox for some reason. So I'm trying to get that right balance. Let's see. We're going to... Fry, fight. We're going to fry. It. We're going to fry it bravely. We're going to fry it bravely. We're going to fight bravely. And <laughs> we're going to attack the conjurers. And attack the conjurers. Yes, kill all the conjurers. Please. Mm, getting low on charges on our mandolin, but we'll keep going. Now we'll cast a spell on the jackal wares. The jackal wares. Where's the jackal wares? Do they really need a big shock? 
I think we can kill him with just War Strike and the other. Yeah, and Star Flare. I think that will do it. All right, let's try that. Oh, they're going down. Da da da. There we go. That's great. Oh, the doggies are getting hurt. Oh, they didn't all die. Look at that. Two doggies are left. Okay, we're going to fight bravely. And let's see. Oh, I guess we can just attack, 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 attack. Um, it's just two. Still, we have a bunch of these mandolins. It's, we have a whole bunch of those. So, we're just going to do that. Do I have anybody that needs healing? You know, Frito is old, and I don't think I can clear that. Takes a character has been turned to stone, restores him, restoration, unfalls, cures, poisoning, and insanity. What about more gain? Um, word of healing, wounds, uh, cure poisoning, insanity. Removes all the hit, no, revives all the hit points, but it doesn't, see these don't clear something like old. For some reason, once you've been hit with old, there's really not anything that I have. I have to, uh, I have to take them into town and get it taken care of, so I'm gonna have to go back to town, but let's kill these guys. There we go. Let's zap our trap. Ba-doom, ba-doom, and we found an elf cloak. Yay. <coughs> Unfortunately, though, we're going to have to go back to town, which is too bad. Let's go um, down, down, because I messed up. I forgot we needed to go down, go back to town. Oh, wrong way. Okay, let's go this way. Yes. I have to take them to the temple to get that healed. It's a pain in the booty, and it, it'll probably cost a considerable amount. Frito needs healing. Look at that. 2,250 gold. I have plenty of gold, but really, it's just ridiculous. It's 45 extra to heal the entire party. Why? What do they need? Oh, just heal the entire party. Yes, fine. Heal the entire party. He's cured of withering, and he's healed. That's why. So I guess he had to have a little hit points back. We're exiting your temple. You guys are rip-off artists. Just want you to know that. All right, so I'm going to stop here. This is the end of this test, so thank you for watching, and I will catch you later. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. So here we are again. We're going to try another little test. This time, we'll see. I think you're going to hear... Oops, I hit the wrong thing. I think you're going to hear more of the sound and such. So we're going to see how that goes, okay? But I think you will. I think you'll hear more of the sound. Let's see. We need to go... Oh, we need to go to our magic room. That's where we want to go. Let everybody get recharged. <coughs> We should probably cast up some of our spells here and just renew them. Greater Revelation. Uh, the Compass. And then Levitation. Major Levitation. That's what we want. Some major Levitation. There we go. And then Omar can do our area, our Stone Light spell. And... Our area enchant and renew our shield, the coat of armor. That makes us all more powerful or gives us better defense. All right, so at that point, I just need to let everything finish recharging. You can see down at the bottom it's recharging. I'm going to do a quick save in here once we're recharged, and then we're going to launch out into the third floor again and see what trouble we can find. And again, this is just doing some quick little time to uh, to test the sound. That's really that's really all I'm doing. But hopefully, 
it will still have some value. Let's go up to the third floor. Okay, now I want to... Where were we? Oh, we're exploring there. Right, okay, so we went here. We fought those guys, So, but now we want to go here and we want to head north. So I'm going to take us there. Okay, we're heading north. Oh, and we found some dudes immediately. Okay. Okay, so we're going to fight bravely like we always do. Okay, so we've got... Okay, so we're going to attack the Goblin Lords with our front, front line guys. They're going to take on the Goblin Lords. Now, Sonya is going to use the Mandolin. Only a few charges left, but she's going to use it on the Spinners. The Conjurers. So, I'm going to make sure Morgane takes out the Conjurers. And then we're going to make sure that Omar takes out the second level of Conjurers. And that should do it. Now, I'm not sure how noisy this is going to be, so I'm going to try to talk through part of it. And, of course, I have my volume up, too. But this is just, you know, for testing purposes. We want to see how this works out. Oh, a few survived. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. So we're going to fight bravely. Fight bravely. All right. Sp kill the spider, dude. Just, Y'all just kill the spider. Uh, the board. She's got two shots left. I'm going to say use that on the Conjurers. They're within range. Do we even want to use... I think we should just save our... I think we should just save our magic so that we can stay and fight longer. Mmm. Wow, that could have been worse. But they didn't actually hurt me, so that's good. Okay. Morgane, open that chest safely for us. Thank you. Alright, so that's got some stuff. Now we're still heading north. Nothing here. Oh, we got Hydras and... Okay. Okay, y'all attack the Hydras if they survive. We're going to use the Mandolin again. Two Copper Dragons. We're going to take out the two Copper Dragons with Shock Sphere. <coughs> hmm. Maybe I should use... I think Dragon Breath will get it. Oh. Okay, so they all died. That's good. Oh, that's a shocker. We're going to do more gain and disarmament. Okay, so that was pretty good. I'm going to do a quick save here. I know, I say probably way too much, but it, it keeps me out of trouble. So I'm going to have to go get them leveled, but first, I think we're going to have Omar is going to heal everybody up. Make all ones disappear, your entire party is re- yeah. Okay, so everybody's in great shape, and we can leave... Or should we continue? Um, we still have enough magic to continue. Even though they're close to leveling, we did just save, so... Oh. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a long hallway. Interesting. Where does this go? <gasps> darkness. I hate darkness. Okay, but I can still see that I'm facing south, so that's good. Even though it's darkness. 
Now I'm facing that way good. We're still in darkness. Hmm. Now we're out of darkness. Okay, so have more gain. Cast, let's see. Greater revelation. Revelation, I don't know what I just said, but greater revelation is what I meant. Major levitation. Now have Omar recast the stone last spell just to be safe. Okay. So, oh, where did we go? We got teleported. Oh, that's where we are. Interesting. I didn't know that was a teleport site. Mm-hmm. Is there any way out of here? Maybe that way? Hmm, maybe. Interesting. Okay. Oh, well, wandering monsters. I, I take too long. All right, so let's try. Let's see. Ninjas, ninjas, and two dragons. Well, the dragons have got to go. All right, so um, let's attack our foes. Attack our foes. Attack our foes. We don't have a bard song playing because we don't have anything equipped, do we? No. Hold on. We gotta equip an item. Equip a new fire mandolin. Let's use the lesser one. Okay, so three ninjas and two dragons. So more gain can help take out the three ninjas. And then that leaves it to Omar to take out those green dragons at 50 feet. Let's try that. Good, that worked. It doesn't always work that easily, but hey, I'm glad when it does. Okay, so... Now I need Sonya to play us a song, the anti-magic song that helps protect us. There we go. Whenever you can't hear her music, you know you're in trouble. Okay, so that's... we haven't moved. Alright. So that looks like a dead end. It all looks like a dead end. So if you can't... oh, look at that, a secret door. No, I got teleported. Oh no, where did it take me now? Oh. Okay, that was different. So that took me here. And that, that puts you in that room, so I've been there. Hmm, how interesting. Do I have enough to app a port again? I could app a port again. Oh. oh, okay. Um, I'll just leave him. You just go your way, dude, and leave me alone. What's this? Did we teleport again? We did. That's what I was curious about. Oh, we're in a new area. Hmm, interesting. We still have enough magic for exploration, I believe. Let me check this out. Have we been there? Well, we've been there. Did we not? Oh, it's a one-way door, so we didn't come through this door. Okay. It's a one-way door. You have to beware of the one-way door. Hmm. How are we doing here? Oh, we're doing okay. All right, we're twisting around. La, la, la. This is a fun old game. Oh! Seekers, sorcerers, spinners, and a magician, but everybody's in pretty good range. So we're gonna attack our foes. Let's see, y'all take out the seeker. 
Make sure the seeker is dead. It's worth our trouble. Use the fire mandolin on the sorcerers because I think that's only a distance of 20 anyway. Cast a spell, shock spear on the spinner. That's the uh, that's a spider basically, and then we have one magician, probably, probably Starflare will kill it. So we'll see. Oh, one magician is left. Fight bravely, da da da. You can do a ranged attack. Let's see, you can actually do your single single par target attack, which rarely happens. I don't even sure. Do they have a single? They have, um, yeah, but nothing I really want to use. This only works against undead. And he probably won't get to cast it. But we'll give him a chance. Oh, I was right. He didn't get to cast it. No, we just got loot right off the bat. All right, I'm going to save right here. And we're going to call it good for a minute. And then we'll come back and try some more. Let's see, where's my time? I guess we're here. Okay. All right. So thanks for watching. And I will catch you later. Hello. So we have another test here. Where we have to find some guys that came in because I took too long. So let's see, we got Azure Monks, we got a Doppelganger, and Stone Giants, not too bad, really. So I think we're going to have our frontline guys take out the Stone Giants. And then the Bard is going to burn down the Monks, because I don't trust the Monks. And then we have one doppelganger at 20 feet. I don't remember how powerful a doppel doppelganger is. But I'm going to go with more strike because it's cheaper. And then the stone, no, doppelganger. And then we're going to cast, let's see, they're 40 feet away. We could hit them with star flare. They're three stone giants. They're not going to do much till they get closer. So I'm just going to hit them with star flare. Oh, so we have one stone giant left at 30 feet. So instead, we're going to fight bravely. We're going to do a bunch of ranged attacks. That's all we're going to do. 30 feet. Yep, you can do 30 feet. Yep, 30 feet. Um, let's see, did anybody get injured? Let me see. Um, nope, everybody's good health-wise. So we're going to cast a spell. I doubt that'll even happen. Yep, else said killed it quickly. Oh, and no trap. Nothing like that. Alright, well that's great. I'm going to save here and we're going to get out of here. We're going to go to our recharge room and recharge our mana or magic, however you want to think of that. So, let's see. Let's go down to... And we're going to pop right in there and let our guys recharge their magic. And we'll listen to the music for a minute. That's part of what I'm testing. I want to see if we can hear that. I had everything turned down due to whatever. But here, it seems I need to turn everything up. So we're going to give this a minute. Let our guys recharge. Well, actually, that's probably enough for the test, so if I if I even put this one up, which I don't know if I will, but if I do, um, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.